Hello everyone. Today is the 5th June and world is celebrating World Environmental Day. So for our world, for our environment, for you, for us, if it is possible, contribute something by planting or by take caring the plants. Okay. So let's go to our class. Okay. So now today, today we are going to start our second chapter of class 10 science uh, it is the section of chemistry so the acid bases and salt okay so here the acid bases and salt see acid bases and salt are maybe of artificial maybe natural okay we will discuss both some artificial also some natural also okay so now acid are the chemical having naturally okay naturally it is salt test and uh, base are the chemical having beta test and the slippery nature slippery nature and salt have the individual test that means um, different different salt different different test okay. so now by testing that means by eating or tasting we can say which one is acid base and which one is salt but these are maybe artificial maybe natural so these are not good for our health up to some extent depending on their character depending on their source some are helpful that means some are you can say good for our health up to a very less extent small extent and some are bad for our health so we can say that by simple eating or tasting we cannot say which one is acid base or salt actually we can say but we cannot use this root to say which one is acid base or salt by tasting so then so then we need to you can say take the new approach or new system by which we can say which one is acid base and salt for this we have to go to the chemical nature chemical change for the individual parts okay so let's first start first of all i'm discussing the acid and base then we'll go to the salt section okay so today we'll see uh, the basic knowledge of acid and base so that you may have a clear knowledge about the acid and base according to your level okay so some topics it is given in your book in a short form some topic we'll know for our better understanding about the salt uh, sorry acid and bases okay so let's start so i'm writing acid okay a little bit about the acid okay acid Acid are the chemical of sawdust. Sawdust. Okay. So acid may be natural, may be artificial, may be natural or may be artificial. Suppose if you say you know this, are, okay? Natural acid. Suppose our lemon juice. Lemon juice, natural acid, sawdust. Suppose card. Natural acid, salt test. At the same time, these are weak acid. Okay, it is good for our health up to some extent. But if you are comparing with the formic acid, formic acid, this is present in the and sting. This one also natural acid, but it is not good for our health. If two, three, that black color, big, big and is a bite no then it the pain may have for three four hour and that portion weight cut it has swelling at the time what do we use we use base it may be uh, your limestone that means tuna or you can use a baking soda also okay which neutralizes the acid by the basic character of that chemical okay so this is the acid this is strong acid this to suppose weak acid but it should be sore taste I think it is clear okay so now let's see a little bit about the basis okay. basis base base are the chemical of beta test beta test okay it is slippery slippery in nature slippery in nature then 
again it may be artificial it may be natural but artificial base are little bit you can say less quantity we have but um, sorry natural base we have in less okay but artificial base we have huge amount for example i'm saying it may be natural it may be artificial also artificial okay artificial also so now natural base natural base you can see some of you may know about the uh, that it is known as in the normal home language it is khar okay khar so khar is used for our eating purposes in our vegetables in our curry in our you can say mixed base we are giving okay but some of you may not use mainly in our traditional in the northeast we are uh, using mainly used by the, the rasbongshi families or assamese families okay so they are prepared from the banana banana leaf okay banana plant you can say not leaf actually plant actually no that body of the banana plant that means stem part after you can say drying in the sunlight no they just uh, burn it and from the burn burning ashes as uh, after some using process they used or they prepared a clear clear solution of base this base is very strong it is not a weak it is very strong and whenever we are using for our you can say eating purposes no and given in the curry it will be very less okay very less amount is given so this is the natural base artificial base lots of we have it may be potassium hydroxide it may be sodium hydroxide it may be calcium hydroxide lots of we have lots of we have these are also bitter test it is slippery in nature and some other properties also okay these are all about the uh, i can say basic knowledge about the acid and base okay so let's see it a bit further so now as i said no that uh, by testing system we cannot use for the um, uh, detecting which one is acid and which one is base okay so now we need a better techniques better techniques by which we can say this is the acid this is the base this is the base that better techniques is given by some natural substances or some artificial substances and the substances or the chemicals by which we can say which one is acid which one is base is known as indicator indicator okay let's start the indicator part okay see indicator okay okay we can say indicator are the substances substances are the substances okay which indicates the acidic or basic nature of a unknown chemical okay uh, are the substances which can uh, say say or this word you can say which can indicate okay indicate the um, acidic or basic nature of unknown substances substances see now this substances may be may be you can say liquid may be solution may be liquid may be solution okay so now indicator this one now again indicator may be artificial may be natural okay so now let's see some natural indicator okay now remember one thing this indicator can give qualitative qualitative information okay qualitative information means simply it will say which one is acid which one is base okay directly it will not say it is a this much strong acid this much weak base that's why i'm said only qualitative not quantitative we have some substance also which can say about the quantitative information about the acid and base base meaning is that which one is how much strong acid which one is how much weak base that one will be quantitative but this one will be qualitative okay so now let's see some uh, natural indicators that means which will say about the qualitatively which one is acid which one is base 
Okay, let's see. Natural Natural Okay Natural Indicator Okay So natural Natural NA Okay not NU Natural indicator One of the very well known natural indicator It is It is Lit Mass Okay MUS Litmus. Litmus is the substance which can be extracted from the lesions. From the lesions. That means it is obtained from the lesions. L I C H E N S. Okay, it is a purple color. Okay, it is a purple color. And our natural uh, substances, it is in lesions. From the lesions, we can abstract the some, I can say, the lesions only. That lesions now can be used. To detect which one is acid or base, that's why it is known as lit mass. Lit mass, okay. Okay, now next, suppose, suppose this lit mass, lit mass may be obtained in the solution, may be obtained in the paper, but we are usually we are using um, paper, okay. Lit mass paper now, lit mass paper may be of two types, may be of two types. First one is blue litmus paper. That's why I'm given in blue color. Okay, this is a blue color. Blue litmus paper. Another one is red litmus paper. Okay, another one is red litmus paper. Okay, okay. Now what it what it say about the acid and base? So now if I am giving, if I am giving, suppose acid also. I'm giving base also, but we don't know which one is acid, which one is base. I'm given only chemical, unknown chemical. Okay, so here also I'm given acid, here also I'm given base. Okay, so now this blue litmus paper, blue litmus paper turns or transform into red when it comes with the contact of acid. Acid, now main thing. I'm giving, I'm given acid into blue litmus paper, it become red. It become red. But base have, does not significance or base will not give any response in the blue litmus paper. Am I clear? I repeat. In the blue litmus paper, if we give acid, it turns to red. But base will not change the color of the blue litmus paper but acid would change our blue litmus paper into red litmus paper similarly here also in the red litmus paper if i am giving acid then it will not change it will not change but if we give base then the litmus paper will become blue it will become blue that means simple knowledge is that i am writing here the litmus paper Okay, litmus paper. Okay, it may be blue, it may be red. It may be red. If if this blue become red and this red become blue after giving some chemical, that chemical here blue to red, blue to red, it should be acid, and from red to blue, it should be base. Okay, so by this litmus paper or litmus solution, we can predict which one is acid and base. Whenever our school will reopen, no, I'll show you the same thing, theoretical thing, experimentally by doing in front of you. Okay, so so up to this much is uh, litmus. Okay, next, remember this one. This is widely used indicator. Okay, widely used indicator. We have some other indicators also which are not very widely used. These are very rare use. That we are coming. Okay, we are coming to the next section. So some natural next natural indicator I'm writing. Okay. Uh, no need to write from the um, if you want to write from the here um, video, you can write, but I will give the notes. Okay, no problem. Okay. So the next natural indicator it is turmeric. 
टर्मरिक ओके टर्मरिक टर्म मींस हल्दी हल्दी टर्मरिक पाउडर ओके टर्मरिक पाउडर नाउ टर्मरिक पाउडर टर्न्स टू रेडिश ब्राउन इट इज अ येलो कलर आई डोंट हैव येलो मार्कर ओके सपोज आई एम गिविंग ग्रीन वन सपोज ओके सो सपोज येलो टर टी यू आर टर येलो टर्मरिक पाउडर turns to turns to reddish brown i'm writing that with red color okay reddish brown reddish brown when it react with base when it react with base here should be base okay for base the color will change but for acid there will be no any response by the yellow turmeric powder there will be no any response that means acid will not react with the turmeric powder but base will react and it transform into the different color and we know that change in color is nothing but what chemical change that's why i am said by the chemical reaction or chemical change we can predict which one is acid or which one is base okay next one okay next natural thing is red cabbage red cabbage okay it is red cabbage okay red cabbage red cabbage is also another uh, natural indicator by which we can detect the acid and base okay so now so now okay so red cabbage turns wait one second okay okay red cabbage turns uh it is reddish color okay what we have to see yes reddish color uh reddish color when it react when it react with acid acid now see red cabbage is said as red cabbage but actually the color of the cabbage is not red is nothing but purple color purple color so it turns to reddish when it react with base now it's react with acid acid also it react with base also base also it become greenish color when it react with when it react with uh, base base so these are the three indicator that we have in natural things we have um, some more also no need this are okay so now this is the natural things okay so now next see one more it is artificial okay artificial artificial indicator so one of the well known artificial indicator is that fanlof thelin fanlof thelin okay it is fanlof thelin fanlof thelin is a white color powder whenever it is mixed with the alcoholic solution and it become the fanlof thelin solution okay so now okay it is a it is a color less chemical okay it is suppose liquid liquid when it, this one actually pure phenolphthalein is in powder it reacts it means dissolve in alcohol very less amount of alcohol then it become a clear solution and that solution is used as a phenolphthalein solution for the detection of acid and bases okay so now how it gives okay so when phenolphthalein or phenolphthalein solution react with base it gives pink color it gives pink color but it is not able to change the color of acid okay no change in color only it gives pink color when it react with base so these are the 
all you can say um, examples of uh, indicators it may be artificial it may be natural by which we can detect qualitatively the nature of accident basis okay so now let's see some example of acids okay these are the all our indicators okay now let's go to the topic main topics these are the little bit in, about the to know about the um, chapters okay let's go to the main topics now i'll say only about the suppose acid okay acid okay till now we have discussed that acid is the substance which is shortest and um shortest okay but if we want if we don't able to test because of that corrosive because of their you can say harmful nature then this definition is not satisfied in class 10 that acid as shortest now we have to say individually deeply by the chemical sense chemical sense okay so let's see so acid is the substance okay which release h plus in aqueous solution is the substance which release h plus in aqueous solution aqueous solution means nothing but water okay so now this may be artificial this may be uh, natural if i am asking some artificial some natural i have already said some artificial sorry first of all i am discussing about the suppose natural natural acids some natural acids it may be it may be ch double o h it name is methanoic acid methanoic acid okay methanoic acid is mainly uh, obtained in the uh, it is um, honeybee honeybee sting okay sting of the honeybee next one suppose i am saying the formic acid as i am said it and sting okay and sting its formula is uh, it is methanoic acid no it is a formic acid wait one second okay it is formic acid uh, it is a, a open in the end steam and steam okay next one you may have suppose um it is uh, it may be you can say lemon juice lemon juice is what is it citric acid okay citric acid you may have oxalic acid in guava okay oxalic acid in guava so lots of we have okay so beside that we have some artificial acid also and artificial acid are mostly strong acid mostly strong acid so in the artificial section okay it may be acl hydrochloric acid it may be H2SO4, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, these are some artificial well known acids. Now, if you remember, no, these are all are made of by you can say artificially by some chemical of inorganic substances. Inorganic means these are mainly used the non metals. If you see, see nitrogen, sulfur, oxygen, chlorine, are all non metal. And that's why these are known as inorganic acid and these are so much harmful for the human body so much harmful for the human body okay but these are all about the acids okay now we have to see how these acids are react with the different type of reagent, different type of environment and for example suppose acid react with water acid react with salt acid react with base acid react with any oxide like this so we have to go step wise how acid not only acid base also we have bases react with a different environment different condition different reason and we have to see step wise okay so for today this much only next day we'll see some other topics it may be video or it may be online class okay so thank you